And the Indianapolis International Airport is getting some new flights to and from the West Coast. Alaska Airlines adding a flight, and our City Beat reporter Mary Mills has a look at the new schedule for travelers. A new airline could soon be occupying the empty space here at the airport. We're told it's a deal that's been in the works for two years. Alaska Airlines is making its Indianapolis debut, providing nonstop service to Seattle starting next May. Seattle is one of the markets the airport and business community have long been targeting for nonstop service. They say landing it is key to boosting convention business and drawing high-tech companies or helping those already here expand like Salesforce plans to do. Having Alaska Airlines and connecting us to the West Coast and specifically Seattle is huge for our ever-growing tech industry. So we have a lot of synergies and a lot of energy around such deals like the Salesforce Tower. And this continues to show that entire market and industry. We are committed. We are going to continue to do what we can to foster your growth in our city and in our state. Not only will they cover a destination which we needed, a nonstop destination, they're a new airline. So this is just the beginning. This is the beginning of a wonderful relationship between Alaska Airline and Indianapolis. So as you see, you know, it stands to reason that Alaska Airline isn't just going to have one destination, and that's it. That's the start of it. So as they start growing their direct destinations into their markets, it tends to lower the pricing for everybody that flies, you, me, and everybody in Indianapolis and in, the cent in central Indiana. As for what's next, both say that San Diego remains high in the list. The airport is also pursuing an international destination, in particular, London. At the airport, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.